excited for the Elden Ring DLC, are we? Spending more time grinding characters than with the wife and kids. And by wife and kids, I mean that body pillow with a picture of the dung eater and your collection of crusty socks. Well, look no further, friendo. Instead of wasting hours grinding runes when you could be gooning to feet pics of Selen, why not just buy those runes online? It's the easy alternative for those bottom-of-the-barrel mutants who bought a $60 game just to never play it. Don't you just hate having to actually play the game to progress it? Like, who would ever think of doing that? Our services are tailor-made for those Dorito-scented individuals who only speak microtransactions. Want a max-level character on Xbox? That'll set you back about 1.5 billion runes, which translates to countless hours doing the very thing the game was designed for. But fear not, you can snag those necessary runes for level 713 for the low, low price of $500. And if you use our promotion code, totally not a scam, you'll get a whopping 5% off. What a Deal, eh? Or perhaps you'd prefer to stock up on sleep bolts instead of farming thin beast bones and Trina lilies. Well, you can get a whole 600 of those quick-to-consume sleep bolts for only $20. Or maybe you'd prefer... Okay, enough. I can't even pretend to entertain this shit anymore. Let's cut to the chase. Do not buy runes. Or items or consumables or weapons or anything. All of these things are readily available in the game for free within just a few hours of gameplay. And there are even simpler methods for acquiring items that are also free and do not require you to put your sensitive information out there for these scam sites to see. But we'll get into that later. First, a little bit of context. Since the launch of Elden Ring, countless sites have emerged offering services to provide customers with items, runes, consumables, weapons, talismans and more. With the game's immense popularity and the reaction of some humans to its length and difficulty, these sites have received positive feedback and have continued to thrive. Like any parasite, the ghouls running these sites latch onto social media influencers to promote their scam as much as possible, an offer that even we have received at one point in our YouTube career. Of course we declined said offer, but other Elden Ring content creators haven't been so discerning. Take this guy, for example. We first became aware of him through his new 25 top weapons in Elden Ring video, which we were planning to cover due to its inaccuracies. What? We may still do so in the future, but I digress. What caught our attention wasn't the content of the video, but rather a little link in his video description, where he shamelessly advertises a website selling runes and items for Elden Ring. The site reads as follows. Runes are the remaining fragments of the shattered Elden Ring. They are the main currency used to level up your character, enhance your weapons and gear, increase some of the attributes of your choice for character or purchase items from merchants in Elden Ring. You can earn them from defeating creatures, trading goods, selling items, or even buying from an online game store, and AOEA.com will be your best choice. In the site, they also explain the procedure of how to obtain the runes you paid for, which basically involves summoning the orc abortion, who will drop you the runes via password summoning. They also recommend doing it via duelist finger, since regular co-op finger summoning is prone to invasions. So it is quite possible that many of those item traders that you've invaded at the Church of LA were actually one of these Gorgonites completing a transaction. Which we may or may not have interrupted and stolen the items in the past. <laughs> in any case, this is akin to stumbling upon a street vendor selling bottled sand at the beach. What? It may not technically qualify as a scam in the strictest sense of the word, but it's certainly a rip-off, considering you can just scoop up some sand for free. But in case your cognitive faculties are too impaired from indulging in microtransactions, let me spell it out for you. You can acquire your runes simply by playing the game. What? And guess what? You might even enjoy yourself while doing so. Who would have thought? You have any idea how insane that sounds? The most egregious aspect of all this is that reaching level 150 is easily achievable through normal game progression alone. And if you find yourself in need of more levels, there are numerous methods to farm runes effortlessly, both in the early and late game. For example, in the early stages, defeating Griol yields 50,000 runes, while farming the ball in Lena's Rise nets you 1,900 runes per run. Additionally, exploiting the Knight Rider in Lena's Rise can fetch you 42,000 runes. Mm. 
Moving on to the late game, the Albanoric Genocide grants around 60,000 runes per run, and each run takes a mere 15 seconds. And these are just the legitimate methods of rune acquisition. For PC players, Cheat Engine provides a swift solution to any rune-related woes, and it's completely free. Simply download Cheat Engine and an Elden Ring cheat table. Start the game in offline mode to bypass easy anti-cheat and grant yourself whatever you need. And for console users, item duplication has been a practice since the days of Dark Souls. Someone like goes on their save file, and drops you the items and after that they are rolling back the save file and rolling back the save file is actually something utilized by websites that are selling the runes these runes you can be dropped yeah now they are on the ground if you are in someone else's world yeah someone else could just pick them up yeah get them these runes are gone from your inventory now because well someone else picked them up yeah now you can just simply quit close entire game and use the upload slash download save uh, data manager for the sake of to download save file that is in the cloud storage. It's gonna be there after you're gonna move it from the PC to PlayStation through the USB stick. And you click yes. And just like that, all these runes that you just dropped, you are going to have them back. By acquiring just one Lord Rune, you can easily duplicate it by dropping it to a friend, reloading your save file, dropping another one, reloading your save file, and having your friend drop you two more, then reload his save file. Repeat this process until one of you reaches 99 Lord Runes. Then, have your friend drop those runes to you. Use them and have your friend reload their save to repeat the process. Congratulations, you've just duplicated virtual goods without spending a cent. This method can also be applied to duplicate weapons. And places like Patches Emporium on Reddit allow you to trade items or request runes from other people that will gladly give them to you for free. The ease with which virtual non-premium goods can be obtained renders the entire rune selling business a complete scam. And some content creators will still entice their audience to buy in these sites just to make a quick buck. While they may claim legitimacy and insist they are simply providing a service, it's akin to endorsing a sand vendor at the beach. They know it's a scam. And I can prove to you that they do know. When we posted a warning in our community tab advising against purchasing runes online, Elden King responded by offering to refund anyone who got scammed by the site. Additionally, in his Discord, he vowed to cease promoting the site if anyone reported being scammed. And here's the funny part. Since our post, Elden King not only removed all links to the shady site from his videos, but also deleted his comment from my community post. It's clear that something compelled him to halt his promotion of the site, especially after they offered refunds to those who were scammed. Quite the coincidence, don't you think? So it's not like he's not aware of what was going on. And one more thing that you don't seem to understand, it's not about not putting a gun to their head. It's about how much you sh** on your audience by promoting a scammy site to them instead of showing them methods of farming runes or duping items all in favour of making a quick buck out of them and your partnership with the shady website. Since you like to work on your videos so much, why don't you do those videos instead? Do you not realise this? Or are you actually this dense? That's just disgusting, man. But hey, at least you deleted the links. Although quoting Voldemort. Out of fear, not loyalty. It will never not be baffling how such a wonderful game like Elden Ring comes out without microtransactions, and people still find a way to add them to it, all thanks to weak losers who paid for a $60 game to not play it. However, it makes us happy to know that the general consensus on the whole matter is a common disgust for those shady rune-selling sites. If you're a content creator and you're endorsing this shit on your audience, you should be ashamed. And if you're even remotely thinking on buying runes, please just play the f game. I had to take a bath after pretending to endorse that garbage. What did I miss?